Hey, hello folks, how's it going? So I'm working on this project where I'm replacing some of our connectors on our equipment so that they will all match. And so that's been kind of a problem for us is we go to switch out equipment, uh, if we've got trouble with one of them or whatever, and it doesn't connect because it's a different connector. Kind of a big deal. So I'm replacing them. This is a Deutsch connector. It's got a, a ratcheting um, connector on this end, on the male end. And, um, and so when it makes a connection, it's, it's tight and it doesn't, it's not going anywhere. The only problem is for this environment that we're in, two things happen. One is that when dirt gets on the threads, it won't thread on very well. And two, because that happens at times, uh, the person that's connecting them will sometimes believe that it's connected fully, but it won't be. And, uh, and then consequently you get a lot of operational issues because it's not connected. And so I'm replacing those connectors and I'll show you more about that here in a minute. And I just wanted to add that um, this is not how we normally have the connectors configured. I've got it partially disassembled so that I could show it to you a little more clearly. Um, and normally I've got the wires much more, much more protected than that. I've just removed some of the protective covering that was once on there. Okay, so now I've got the new connectors installed and uh, I've got the bulkhead side here inserts into the frame and then on this uh, threaded part there's a locking nut that goes on and holds it into place and then of course this goes on and, and connects to it so Deutsch does a good job of providing things like these boots and locking collars here to keep both the connection secure and free of moisture and dirt and whatnot um, but because of the environment that we're in here, uh, it's, it's in a lot of, uh, there's a lot of moisture, there's a lot of dirt, um, oil, hydraulic fluid, just a variety of things. And so I like to add a little bit of RTV silicone sealant on the back side of this just to ensure that it, we don't have anything get inside the connector. So that's something that I do. But, um, the great thing about this connector is that once it's in place and locked into position on the equipment, then this will um, it will lock into position. There's a I'll show you those in a second. But then it's a, it's like a quarter turn locking mechanism on that connection. Really solid, easy to put on. Um, you, you can't put it on wrong because it's keyed, and I'll show you the, how that looks. So basically, you've got, um, see this bigger notch here, and that's where pin 1 is, or pin A. Anyway, you've got a corresponding um, bigger notch on, on this connector. And so you, anyway, you match them up, uh, you get the collar into position, it just basically locks on. So really awesome connector for this particular application, and um, it'll last a long time. All right, hey, so I wanted to show you how I go about putting these connectors together. If you have in the past already worked with Deutsch connectors, then this is pretty much the same, except for the challenge of uh, navigating the depth of this opening here. Uh, for those of you that haven't worked with Deutsch connectors before, uh, really simple to use, very durable. Uh, I've used them for many years and have always been really happy with them. And I'm glad that I found this uh, this style of connector for what we're doing. It's going to work out great. All right, let's get started here. So for us, in this particular project I'm working on, I have a 16-wire conductor or 16-wire cable that um, that I need to terminate into a connector and 
and so I've got a 16 pin connector and it's a uh, this is a really nice connector and the one thing that bothers me somewhat is that this deep of cavity here makes it really difficult to be able to insert the pins because you get to a certain point where you can't support that wire any longer and when you try to put too much pressure on it it will fold over and um, and it just makes it really tough to to make that work what I would have like what I had hoped for when I opened up the package that the connectors were in I saw this and I thought well okay that's awesome really nice casing for the connector and keep the wires safe and all that but I initially thought that this piece right here screwed on and um, and I thought okay well you know I undo it slide this up the the cable until I get the wires inserted and slide it back down and screw it back together well it's not designed that way it's one solid piece and so uh, Deutsch if you're out there listening if there's any way to maybe make this connector such that this the body of it here threads on we can then as technicians we, are, we can be able to insert those wires and pull them out um, with our fingers right next to the pins that would really be helpful so but that's not how it is right now and I'm just have to work with it um, so that's a challenge uh, this becomes even more of an issue as you start to fill up the connector when you get down to like two or three spots left it's just about impossible to get in there I've, I have to use needle nose to get it started then a screwdriver to you know keep pushing it along and so I'll show you how I do that it's cheating absolutely if you guys think can think of a better way to do it please let me know um, always open to suggestions but so anyway I'll just pick any particular spot here um, start it off as far as I can get it just by pushing on it and, um, and then I use my screwdriver or you can use one of those Deutsch um, tools but I just don't have it right next to me here so anyway uh, get it down there a little further with that and then um, as odd as it sounds I use my pin extraction tool and you would think that would prevent me from seating the pin but actually I can push it far enough with this so that it it snaps into place yet not far enough so that it will allow the pin to come out so pretty interesting so I'll get that in there next to the wire and I'll, I'll push the, the thing through and I'm not going to snap it in all the way here because I'm using this connector for another project but um, but anyway you can see where the pins coming through there and uh, and that's how I seat the pins works for me but um, do what works for you best so there you go uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that um, of course with any cable that you're working on you're gonna first put on this cable the stuff that you would connect last so I got the collar on here and then I would slide this boot on and as you can see when you get this when you would connect this onto the back of the connector this seats up against this boot really nicely and makes a pretty good seal um, although given the environment that our connectors are in I add a little a little bit to it as I mentioned before with the silicone seal um, RTV sealant it's just I guess for my own peace of mind having seen plenty of uh, connectors get compromised and corrosion happening and all that I'm, I'm kind of a a stickler for that if you will but um so you got that and then basically this will thread on to the back of the connector one thing to keep in mind when you're working with these connectors and I'll, I'll show you here it's when you go to 
Um, you get that on there. You have you have it all connected on all that. When you go to apply this clamp, you want to make sure that you get it so that it's pressing against insulation of the cable. You can see where I have that here. What you don't want to have happen, and I, I know this probably seems really straightforward, but you don't want this, oops, pulled it right off there. Pull on just a second. Um, you don't want this boot to be only partially down and then that clamp to miss the insulation on, on the cable itself. Because if you do that, you're going to be pressing against each of these individual wires and in time, with vibration from the equipment, it's, it can break down the insulation of these wires. And I've seen intermittent shorts between wires that way. Um, super difficult to find. It makes you pull your hair out. And, and then you'll be bald like me. And you don't want that. Nobody wants that stuff. Don't be bald. Don't be like Mike. Um, so anyway, that's something I just wanted to share. As you uh, you guys are text, you... you you are probably very much dialed into that. Um, let's see what else here. On this bulkhead, pretty simple. You get the, everything connected, all the wires in. Um, you're going to feed this through the panel that it's uh, that you'll be attaching the other cable onto. So you'll feed it through and slide a lock washer on the other side of it. And then this lock nut. And presto, you got yourself a bulkhead connector. So, excellent connectors. I want to give a shout out to uh, Mouser Electronics. I knew what this part number was right here, but I didn't know any of the other parts. And so it's not all sold as one unit. Um, different kits, if you will. You know, this comes... These come separately, and this comes as a kit, and that's individual, and that's individual. The boot is part of that kit. Um, but I didn't know what the part numbers were, and they dug all that up for me. They were super helpful. Sent me a uh, quote in electronic form. I simply selected what I wanted in the quantities and um, submitted it back to them, and that generated my order awesome so yeah hats off to them uh, Deutsch connectors great company I will always use their products been very satisfied with them keep in mind that some are better for certain applications than others but I that's going to be true with anything um, but yeah great great company I'm gonna put links to their websites in my description and if you have questions, please leave them in the comments section. Happy to, to listen to any ideas you have, answer questions, all of that. I'm going to take a drink of my coffee because cheers to that. You folks have an awesome day today. You're winning. <laughs>